A lot of attention has been placed on improving outcomes for patients when they have an acute aortic syndrome, when an aneurysm ruptures, when a dissection occurs. And we've made great strides in improving outcomes. So now instead of the risk of death being in the 20 to 30% range, it's in single digits. And that's taken a concerted effort from all the members of our multidisciplinary team within the aortic center here at the Heart and Vascular Institute. As we've gotten better at saving people's lives in the acute phase, we've got a growing appreciation for what it means to keep people living longer, healthier, productive lives. Patients have to understand that when you survive an acute aortic dissection, and when you get over all of the difficult parts of, of your, having your whole life turned upside down, that you may also be left with vulnerable parts of aorta that either were damaged when you had your aortic dissection and haven't been repaired yet, or even with family members who may be vulnerable to have the same problem. So it's important when, when you have the diagnosis of an aortic disease to understand that there is help there for you to treat this problem over your lifetime. It's important that patients understand that they need uh, a team that understands all the aspects of aortic disease that can affect them and their families over a prolonged period of time. Oftentimes, this, this may mean just an annual visit with an imaging study of your aorta to make sure things are stable and things are not progressing. Uh, or it may be getting family members plugged into the system to get screened to make sure really our, our goal is so that nobody ever has one of those life-threatening emergency problems that requires uh, a, a helicopter trip and an emergency surgery. Although we're good at that, we're better when we're progressive and proactive and taking care of a problem before it becomes an emergency.